Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Andes touring jacket, available at Revzilla.com. To my left, I have Brian wearing the Andes. It's a multi-season touring setup from Alpine Stars, and in my opinion, really stealing its inspiration from that hardcore adventure scene. But you're looking at a jacket that's going to be lightweight, full sleeve removable liner, fully waterproof, and somehow they've managed to get it down sub $300. So within the Alpine Stars collection, it's got a strong look to it. There is a high-vis version available, and from here you'd step up into something like the Cone, the Lucerne, the Cape Town Air, which are a little bit beefier as you get into tech touring, but really from what we're seeing at Alpine Stars, spring, winter, or I'm sorry, fall, winter, and spring, and then even creeping into some of the warmer months, you should get a great deal of flexibility here. Love to hear your gut reaction on this colorway in the Andes. Leave us your comments or your questions on Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. You can always click and subscribe. Now for frame of reference, I have Brian to my left. He's six foot, 195, 42 inch chest, spot on, wearing a size large. So no surprises when it comes to the sizing here within the A-Stars line. And if you look, Brian's also wearing an Andes pant, which I'm doing in a different video, but he's wearing a size large as well for frame of reference. Remember, we ship for free, um, we ship for free, exchange free, no restock fees if you need to send it back to us. Now, if we look at the main construction, taking it back to the basics here with the Andes. Remember, your dry star, it's incorporated, waterproof, breathable, and it's not, it's a non-removable liner. It's actually a floating liner. So when you start to think about the warmer months, the reason I don't give it a four season rating is because we do have some venting, both the front and the back, and you see our chest vents here, but that's gonna vent to the liner. So what you get is your waterproofing baked in and, the, and it's gonna block the elements, but when you, you vent, you can't vent directly to the body to a floating liner. So keep that in mind, guys. And for those of you that look at a lot of different products or ride a lot, you're gonna know the difference between the two. Now, if I was looking at this and looking at some of the other features, there are some niceties that we're starting to see creep into the A-Stars line that we haven't seen before. The first is stolen right off of their hardcore adventure gear. We have this split if I can snap it down there. You have the split zipper design with the collar loop back. And you can notice that was a padded area for the Adam's apple. So now in the summertime, again, to be able to get better airflow in there, past the liner, if it's not riding, you have the ability to zip it halfway down. You can see that we can go all the way down with our main connection zipper and gets to the bottom and it's a two-way zipper. So you also have the ability to, to pull it up and flare at the bottom if you're riding on an upright bike. Nice touch. And we look at the main components of the jacket from a protection standpoint, you know that you're going to get the bio armor from Alpine Star, CE rated in the shoulders as well as the elbows. You can upgrade to any of their back inserts. And the main construction is going to be a 600D as well as a 1000D construction in the impact areas. You're also using, or Alpine Stars is also using, their stretch aromatic panels, which come on the inside of the arms, that add a little bit of airflow. They also are a little bit more lightweight, and they're away from the impact zones in the outside. So depending on how you're built, you're gonna have some flexibility there. And notice that we have two snaps for volume control around the bicep, and then our cuff is pretty basic here with Velcro. But again, you're trading off, because if you think about it, you're getting a jacket sub $300 that there's a ton of bang for the buck in. Now, I clarified with Alpine Stars, it was very important to me. I want to talk about external pockets and waterproofing. The big cargo pockets on the front are lined and they are waterproof. Pockets as we move up here on the front are going to be water resistant. But again, it's nice to know that you have solid volume on the front of the jacket to keep you, to keep you dry or keep anything on the external of your jacket that you want to keep dry. Looking across the outside, all the way down across the front, we have this reflective piping, this reflective tape that's kind of laid out in a very aggressive pattern. Turn the face away from me, Brian. And you can see it, it follows all the way to the back sides of the arm. Now the elbows are something different here. We still have our textile um, stretch panel on the top of the elbow, but then you're gonna have this PU coated design that adds a little bit of abrasion resistant on the elbow, on top of the armor, all the way down the forearm. And if Brian raises his arm, you're gonna see a few things going on here. One, the cut of the Andes jacket. It goes all the way down to hip length, so it's certainly a touring cut. Here's the back exhaust for the airflow coming through the jacket, through the liner. It's gonna exhaust out the back. And notice our cinching here along the hip. It's gonna allow you to tighten it down and keep it in place. Turn backwards for me. 
Another new feature here on the Alpine Stars Andes is the collar volume adjuster. So you have the ability to snap this collar down, and if you're riding in a warmer time of the year, you can kind of fold it over and get it out of the way. Even though it is a rolled collar that's going to have a nice fleece line to it, it's not going to chafe, you have the ability to kind of get it out of harm's way if you want a little bit more room for your neck to breathe. Looking at the back, there's no back protector in the jacket. It's going to come with a foam pad. And I like, I actually really like how they've done the reflectivity here on the Andes. There's a design and a style to it. And then moving down, you do have a large rabbit pouch here in the back that's big enough to put your liner in if you zip out the full sleeve thermal liner. Come back around to the front there, Brian. So let's break this bad boy down from the inside out. If we open it up, and you do have the ability, remember, to add any of the Alpine Stars chest protection to it. And you should always look at Alpine Stars base layers. If you're evaluating A-Stars gear, they make thermal base layers, they make summer weight base layers. But here's our thermal lining. You can see I'm exposing the Andes pant with its, with its uh, integrated suspender that's built in. But here's our thermal, thermal liner. Notice that it's functional, it has pockets on it, and it will be circumferential in its zip out. So you're going to have one zipper and then there are snaps at the end of each sleeves where you pull the zipper zip liner and keep in mind that it's not a mesh liner it's actually a finish liner here because Alpine Stars knows that for the bulk of the time this jacket's going to perform best really in fall winter spring and rain scenarios as again with that with that floating liner you're not going to get that direct ventilation to the body you can zip that bad boy back up for me Brian so if you're considering the Andes jacket, make sure you check out the Andes pant. Like I said, it's a different video. If you're not sure about sizing, remember, we try to make it really painless, but give our gear geeks a chance to help you out. We'll work you through the size chart, maybe get your measurements if you need a little bit of help. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. If you want to buy the Andes, visit RevZilla.com slash Alpine Stars. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.